Hello, good evening. Good evening, Jose Carlos. Good evening, Esmeralda. Good evening. Good. Hello, mister. Good evening. Good evening, Kevin. Good, good evening, Janetti. How are you, you guys? How are you today? Tell me, tell me. Hello, hello. Hello, Jose Carlos. How are you today, mister? Good, very good. Nice, nice. Almost, almost finishing this week, right? Almost, almost. Esmeralda, um, how are you? Almost, casi. Yeah. Uh, almost finished the week. Yay. How are you, Esmeralda? Yeah. Are you? <laughs> Mejor que ayer. No sé cómo se dice. Better than yesterday. Definitely. Ah, pues better the, the than yesterday. yesterday. Oh, the that's, yesterday. that's good, me. That's good. Mm -hmm. Happy to hear that. Yes, because I imagine it's difficult, porque me imagino que sea es difícil, so, yeah. I feel you, miss, yes, it's difficult. Okay, so, hello, welcome, Alejandra. Hello, Walter. We are about to start, you guys. Just give me one second. Hello, Eric. Hello, Rebecca is entering, and Eric también. Están ingresando varios de ustedes, so. Give me one second. Hello, Erika. I mean, sorry, Rebecca, Eric. Hello, Eric. Hello, Rebecca. Welcome, you guys. Okay, let's get started. Thank you for being here on time. I really appreciate that. Okay, so we are going to continue. Vamos a continuar el día de ahora. Gracias a todos por venir. And today, as you know, we are going to continue with Inglés Principiante Módulo 1. Today it is Tuesday. Good evening, Rebecca. Good evening, Janetti. Today it is Tuesday, June, sorry, June 13, 2023. My name, one more time, is Miss Alvarado, as you know, okay? And uh, um, yeah, today we are going to continue with unit number four, okay? And today we are going to talk about the weather and other things, okay? Vamos a hablar acerca de las estaciones y el clima en estas estaciones, okay? We are continuing unit number four, that it's Anna wearing boots. Today we are going to also do a little bit of a review for the simple present. Vamos a hacer un pequeño repaso y práctica eh, para el presente simple. Aunque yo sé que en la práctica de la plataforma no les va a aparecer, Pero recuerden que no cabe mal aprender algo más o practicarlo. Ok, so vamos a tratar de hacer la mitad de la clase acerca de eso. Eh, y la, bueno, ahorita vamos a ver lo de las seasons y weather. But before we go with that, yesterday we were learning about the colors. Ayer estábamos aprendiendo los colores, right? So I have an activity. This activity is called um, say the, the, the color, not the name. Ok, esa actividad se llama di el color, no el nombre. Why it's called like that? Because you will see some letters, van a ver unas letras por ahí, pero ustedes van a decir, van a mencionar el color, like this. I mean, I'm going, I am going, sorry, I am going to tell you the example, and then you do it. Les voy a hacer el ejemplo y ustedes lo hacen después. Algunos de ustedes, pues, me van a ayudar. So it's like this. It would be, for example, green, red, black, blue, purple, red, black, red, yellow, yellow, green, blue, blue, orange, red, green, purple, yellow. So you have to say the color of the letter, not the name, okay? Who wants to try it? First volunteer to try it, please. One volunteer. Okay, so I have two. Okay, okay. Jose Carlos, tell me, Jose Carlos, and then Rebecca. Very difficult, but I try. But I try. You can do green. it, Mister. Mm -hmm. I hope green, uh -huh. red, black, blue, purple, red, black, red, yellow, yellow, green, blue, blue, orange, red, green, purple, 
Excellent, Mr. Very good, very good. You did awesome. Thank you, thank you. Let's go with Rebecca. Rebecca, Rebecca. let's try it, okay? One, two, three, go. Green, red, black, blue, purple, red, mm -hmm. black, mm -hmm. red, yellow, yellow, green, blue, blue, orange, red, uh -huh. green, uh -huh. purple, yellow. Excellent. Very good, Miss Rebecca. You did it. Also, that's nice. Another volunteer who wants to do it. One more volunteer, one more volunteer. One last volunteer to practice the colors from yesterday. Yo lo voy a hacer, tal vez no me equivoco. Don't worry. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. We can do this. Okay, one, two, three. Okay. Mm -hmm. Green, uh -huh. red, black, blue, eh, purple, red, black, Red, yellow, yellow, green, blue, blue, orange, red, green, eh, purple, yellow. Excellent, Miss. You did it awesome too. Nice night. That's good. Mm -hmm. Yes, you did it very good. This was what this was what we were doing yesterday, right? About the colors. Ayer estábamos practicando los colores. And right now you did it perfect. So far, so good. Lo han hecho super bien. A los que al momento han participado, no se preocupen. Ya vamos, vamos con otra práctica, okay? And yesterday, also, we were talking about the clothes. Y ayer también hablamos de la ropa, right? It's very important to know the colors. And it's very important to know the name of the object, right? Now, what are we going to do? So we are going to practice. In this practice, what do you have to do? You're going to share what are you wearing and the color, okay? And the color of the things that you have from here on to up, okay? Lo que ti, solo lo que, lo que se mira en la cámara, okay? And so you're going to do it like this. Lo van a hacer así. Give me one second so I can share with you the example. So it would be like, for example, I, I'm sorry. Oh, okay, I am wearing, because look, I have a t-shirt, okay? Esa es camiseta, entonces se dice teacher. Um, so wait, I forgot the color. Dark blue t-shirt, okay? I am wearing black, sorry, black headphones. This, right? Headphones. Uh, I am... And I'm sorry, in this one city, I have, because los tengo puestos, okay, I have. I am wearing a silver bracelet, okay, silver bracelet. At least I want you to tell me three things that you have from here and up, okay? Quiero que me digan tres cosas que están utilizando. Siempre cuando vas a describir algo, dices el color, okay, o el tamaño, y después el objeto. Okay, en este caso solo vamos a practicar colores, entonces dicen el color y después el objeto del cual ustedes están diciendo. So, let's start. Oh, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to say volunteers. We are going to start with Eric. Eric, can you help me with the first one, please? Can you be the first one? Do you want to try it, Eric? Because I want you to do it. Tengo que decir la, la camisa de color, ¿verdad? Yes, please. Sí. Sería... I, I am, but... I am wearing, yes. Uh, I am wearing a purple t-shirt. Mm -hmm. uh, y de ahí, perdón. Uh, what else are you wearing? ¿Qué más estás utilizando de ropa? Tell me. Ah, okay. Sería... I am wearing... Mm -hmm. Wearing black detour. Uh -huh. What else? Uh, black shorts, right? Black shorts. Mm -hmm. uh, Anything else? Solamente. 
Okay, no problem. That's good, Eric. Thank you. Awesome. Okay, let's go with next one. I want to listen to Miss Rebecca. Tell me. I am wearing a yellow blouse. Uh huh. I am wearing a blue shirt. Okay. I am wearing a um how, how do you say liga de cabello cola? Headband. Headband or how ponytail? Lo voy a escribir por acá. I am wearing hat and black. Headband? Headband black. Mm -hmm. Mm, I am wearing uh, black shoes. Okay, very good. Um, that's okay. That's perfect. Thank you, Miss. Thank you. That was awesome. Very good. Let's go with next one. Can you help me, please? Alejandra. Alejandra, tell me a little bit. Yeah? Um, I am wearing t-shirt black and white. Okay. So sería, recuerda primero el color y después el objeto. So sería black and white t-shirt. I'm, I'm wearing black and white t-shirt. Ajá. Uh -huh. Right short. Ajá. Uh -huh. And what do you say? Sandalias o jeans? Eh, flip flops. Flip flops. Um, right them. Okay, black, I mean, remember, remember, white, white, I wear right, flip flip. Excellent, very good. Uh -huh. That's it, okay, perfect, Miss, that was awesome. To... I'm sorry? Sí, solamente era eso. Okay, no problem, that's okay. Let's go with, uh, 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 uh. Jose Carlos, Jose Carlos, tell me a, a little bit. I'm wearing a dark blue shirt. Uh huh. Shirt. I can a see shirt. it. Uh huh. I'm, I'm, I'm wearing a black socks. Okay. I'm wearing a light blue underwear. Okay. <laughs> okay. And and the glasses. What color are the glasses, Mister? Brown. Uh, brown. Okay. Perfect. Brown. That was excellent too. Thank you for sharing your uh, what are you wearing, right? What about you, Miss Esmeralda? Can you tell us what are you wearing, please? I am wearing a purple t shirt. Uh huh. I have a white. Headphones. Ajá, eso, eso serían earphones, ok, diferente. Earphones, earphones okay. ¿por qué earphones. se llaman earphones? Porque van dentro, ok. Los headphones es cuando van sobre la cabeza, ok. Ah, ok. Ajá, headphones. earphones. Uh, earphones. Uh -huh. earphones. Ear, earphones. Excellent, excellent. Ajá. Ok. Este, I am, I am eh, sky blue. I am wearing, perdón, eh, ¿verdad? I am sí, yes, yes, yes. We wearing uh -huh. a sky blue short. Ajá, uh -huh. very good. Eh, I am wearing a gray shoes. Ok, oh, wow. Eh, solamente. Ok, that's awesome. Very good. You said a lot. You did perfect. That's good. Muchas means. Don't worry. That's perfect. You practice a lot. Thank you. No problem. Janeri, you also share. Ahí compartió Janeri. I am wearing white teacher says and I uh, watch white shorts. Oh, nice. Thank you for sharing, Miss uh, Janeri. Um, let's go with. Um, Mr. Fausto, Mr. Fausto acaba de llegar, but no worries, Mr. You can say it. Yes. I, um, okay. And, uh, I am wearing a black t-shirt. Okay. I am wearing a blue jeans. Okay. I am wearing a black shoes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I am wearing a 
Black smartwatch. Okay. <laughs> That's <laughs> um, perfect. Uh huh. So, so. <laughs> and yeah. Oh, and socks. Do you have socks? <laughs> Do you want to share the socks or no? No. Okay, that's okay. <laughs> that's awesome, mister. Thank you for sharing too. Wow. You did awesome so far, you guys. Sharing about the color. Remember for everything. Okay, para todo siempre va a ser el color primero y después el objeto. For example, my car, it's red car. Okay, that's, that's it would be the name. So first the color and then the object. In any case, in cualquier caso siempre sería así, okay? Let's go and continue. And now uh, we are going to continue because in the manual, in page 22, we have the chart that it says that we need to uh, write the type of clothes that we are going to use for each weather. Vamos a escribir el tipo de ropa que se debe utilizar para cada eh, clima. Entonces, for example, if we have, si tenemos hot, hot weather, ¿qué utilizarían ustedes? What clothes do you use? Because remember, it's extra hot. So, yeah, tell me, what do you use? For example, uh-huh. What else? Oh, uh-huh. What else? What else? I don't remember. Sure. Yes, Gina Sandalia. Ah, do you re somebody remember how to say Gina's? Or no? Flip flop. Flip flops, yes. Flip flop. Esas son Gina's, okay. O chanclas, como le decimos. O sea, ustedes pueden decir. Pero también están las sandals. Las sandals son como para ya casuales, vea que podemos salir y todo. En cambio, las chanclas, bueno, depende, vea. Aquí en El Salvador es like, se te quedan viendo, vea. But in USA, you know that it's not the same. And then it's like, ah, whatever. Pero sandals son como más sandalias, pues. Y flip-flops, chanclas. That's, that would be the difference, okay? Anything else? ¿Qué más se utiliza para el hot or warm weather? ¿Qué más utilizarían? ¿Qué tipo de ropa utilizarían ustedes si hiciera, por ejemplo, what about vestido? How do you say vestido in English, everybody? Dress. Exactly, dress. ¿Qué más utilizarían? Uh -huh. eh, Miss. ¿Ya? Yeah. ¿Cómo, eh, ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Eh, como eh, mayor, como eh, sweet, sweet. Ah, algo. yes, swimsuit. Excellent, Mister. Right? That's perfect. Thank you. Anything else that you, you use? When, the, when it's warm, when it's así caliente acá en Salvador. ¿Qué, qué tipo de ropa? ¿Ah? Hat. A hat. Excellent. Gorra. How do you say gorra? Do you remember? Ah? Cat. Cap, excellent, very good. And there are so many more. Y aquí están otros que vamos a presentar. Ahorita I'm going to share it with you, okay? And it's, for example, oh, wait a second. Let me move this. Can you help me to read those, please? Uh, Jose Walter, Jose Walter, can you help me to read the, the pieces of clothes, please? Short, uh -huh. blue, mm -hmm. uh, blues, mm -hmm. dry. Uh, uh, la siguiente es, es stick, skirt, skirt, stick, skirt, skirt uh -huh. pants, uh, hips, mm -hmm. heels, uh, heels. Uh, okay. Esa la siguiente sí. Socks. Uh, sneakers. Sneaker. 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 A stinker frog. Swing suit. Swing suit. Aha, very good. Oh, I was watching a message here. Cap, sombrero. It's hat. Hat is sombrero. Y camisa, ¿qué es camisa? Camiseta. Ah, no, dice que es camiseta. Camiseta sería t-shirt, ¿ok? Ahora, la camisa de botones sería shirt. Y a veces las chicas... Nosotros utilizamos blouse, blusa, que es con la de seda, ¿verdad? Y 
Y quiero ver qué otra, sí. Y de ahí, por ejemplo, si es polo de esas, de que le dicen polo para que trae así el cuellito, vea, esas se llaman polo shorts, ¿ok? Cada tipo de blusa, o cada tipo de camiseta, whatever, hay diferentes nombres para ellos. Estos son los más comunes para las camisetas. T-shirt, shirt, blouse, polo shirt, and many more, ¿ok? What is a sneakers? A sneakers is zapatos o tenis, ¿ok? Mm -hmm. Like de marca, sneakers, como la marca de los zapatos, sneakers, por eso se llama así, mister. De chocolate. I'm sorry? Eh, no, no, no. Uh, no, eso es it's like, it's like that, it's not like this. No es así. Sí, creo los que... sneakers. Ajá, los sneakers creo que es con E, mister. Yeah, it's with E. Sneakers está la marca, la marca de zapatos, o sea, ¿cómo se llaman? Sneakers se llaman, ¿verdad? Yeah, because the other, yes, it's a sneakers, there's a, there's a brand, hay una marca de zapatos, que it's called sneakers, ok? Ok, now, for cold weather, what would you use for a cold weather? ¿Qué utilizarían para un clima, um, Frío. Okay, sweater. What else? Scarf. Uh -huh. Scarf. What else? What else will you use? ¿Te acuerdan cómo se dice chaqueta? Gloves. Uh, ah, gloves. Ajá. Uh -huh. But. Uh, boots, excellent. Boots. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. boots, 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 con U. Ah, ya, ¿se acuerdan que había una que es formal y la otra que, I mean, que es formal, que es para salir y la otra que se cubre de todo? Ajá, uh -huh. thank you, Janeri. Eh, scarf. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Gorro. Ah, ca ok, a hat, a hat, exactly. Eh, como guantes eh, gloves gloves ajá aquí lo escribí mister thank you sí lo escuché gloves usted me está diciendo gloves thank you what about how do you say el que te cubre del agua y de la nieve se acuerdan cómo se llamaba yesterday I told you ayer les dije empezaba con z uh -huh. what was it coat right Coat, remember, coat for the rain, coat rain, okay, and, okay, let's see, what do we have, okay, we have, oh, we have the same, yeah, that's good, because we give the same ideas, this, this, dijimos las mismas ideas, so, that was perfect, thank you, you guys, hello, Miss Monica, welcome. Measures. Yeah. I'm sorry. Measures como medias. Ah, okay. Medias se dicen tights. Wait, wait, wait. Sin la H después. Tights, okay? Okay. Uh -huh. Tights or also, yeah, mostly tights. Y están también las, oh my goodness, las licras, but I forgot to say licra. Creo que son tights también. Están las long tights, hay, que es larga, porque recuerden que hay diferentes, pero que lleguen hasta la rodilla, knee tights, tight pants, y así, diferentes tipos. ¿Cómo yeah. se dice? Como sobre todo. Eh, cardigan. No ese? Overall. Para el cardigan es que, que se pone como lo que, como las pequeñas chaquetillas, pero que no son tan gruesas, ¿verdad? Son cardigans. ¿Ok? O no, blazers. que cubre hasta, hasta abajo. Eh, blazers Blazers es. Blazers ah, ah. Ajá, Blazers, cardigans es que llega hasta la cintura Y blazers Este, son uh, Like long hay Long y hay short Pero cubren del frío también Blazers Y están los overall Overall son los que llevan pantalón y una pequeña camisita ¿verdad? So you know what is that Overall Mm -hmm. So, yeah. 
Okay, any other questions so far from here? Eh, las gabardinas, que, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Que se Cardi lleguen hasta los tobillos. Ok, gracias. No, 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 but that, those are not, wait, no, entonces esa es una, wait, 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 los que llegan hasta abajo. ¿Y which ones are those? Wait. Eh, en, en películas sale con el frío que llega ah, hasta abajo. Ah, ok, jackets, esas son jackets. Ajá, esa es una jacket, porque les, como les comentaba, el jacket es como más fashion, ya el coat es como que ya para el frío, para, el, o para la lluvia, te cubre de cosas, en cambio la jacket es como más moderno, es para fashion, pues para andar a la moda, y pueden ser largos los jackets, ok? Like in here, así como está acá, ese es un jacket, no es una coat, porque el coat es grueso, ok? Okay, so let's see, let's continue. Pashmina, what is Pashmina? Me suena. Mi Rebecca, what is that? Is this, is this object right here? Ese objeto aquí o como, Miss? Can you remember to me? Oh, but a small one? Pero creo que es una chiquita. I think so, Pashmina. I have I have heard that word, but I don't remember exactly. Okay, so it's like a small scarf. Okay, now as you can see, we were listening to some seasons, right? Hot or or, or I mean, it would be hot or cold. Sorry, wait a second. Ah, I didn't know. That's good. Or, or you are saying the, I forgot how to call this little thing that you push, that you put here. Los, había un, el año pasado me recuerdo que estaban de moda unas cositas que se ponían aquí en el cuello. But I forgot what is the name right now. I don't remember. Pero no es pashmina, I don't remember. Like a ne neck, necklace, something. Well. We have different seasons in the world, okay? And there are four seasons, and we are going to study them. The four seasons are here, and we are going to listen to an audio in order to learn a little vocabulary about weather and seasons. Weather, we are referring to clima. In seasons, we are referring to weather, remember, clima, in seasons, estaciones, okay? Let's listen to this audio and then we are going to give some answers, okay? So please listen carefully this one. Page 25, exercise seven, snapshot. Weather and seasons around the world. Listen and practice. It's spring in Brazil. It's warm. It's very sunny. It's summer in South Korea. It's raining. It's hot and humid. It's fall in the U.S. It's cool. It's cloudy and windy. It's winter in Russia. It's snowing. It's very cold. Okay, there we have the weather and the seasons. The wet, I mean, sorry, the seasons, okay, are the following ones. For example, we have in here, we have a spring, okay? A spring, it would be a primavera, okay? Spring. Then we have summer. Do you know what it's summer? Anybody has an idea what is summer? Verano. Exactly, verano. And what about fall? Do you know what it's fall? Otoño. Otoño. And then we have winter. That is the one that we have here in El Salvador. It's invierno right okay now those are the four seasons then we have the weather which ones are the weather what do you think are the weathers here cuáles creen que son los weathers aquí de lo que ven en las imágenes tell me tell me the summer the fall ajá no esas son las seasons el weather weather el clima yes. Rainy. Uh -huh. Rainy. Cold. Uh -huh. Cold. 
Warm. Oh, it's not warm. Oh, here. What else? The spring. No, spring is a weather. I mean, sorry, season, season. Voy a escribir las acá partes so we can remember this way. Give me one second. So, estas son las seasons. Una vez más. Season, spring, summer, fall, and winter. Four seasons around the world. Okay. Now, uh, in here, we have another weather. Okay, con el weather, tenemos hot, tenemos humid, tenemos cloudy, windy, and snowing. Okay. Uh, do you know how to say helado in English? Cold. Like, Ah, cold. Do you know how to say caliente in English? Like, oh my goodness. Hot. 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 Do you know how to say it's lloviendo in English? Raining. 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 Do you know how to say asoleado? Warm. O soleado. Ah, no. Oh. Sunny. Sunny, exactly. Do you know how to say nublado o con muchas nubes? Cloudy. Exactly. Do you know how to say con mucho viento? Con mucho viento. How do you say that? Uh -huh. Windy. Yes, windy. Do you know how to say húmedo? Huh? Do you know how to say húmedo? Like, oh my God, aquí no pasa casi eso, pero still. It's humid, okay? Wet. Wet or humid, very good. Esa es otra forma de decirlo, wet. Okay, or humid. Um. Now, here we have some questions for you, okay, you guys? And it says here. What are the seasons in your country? What are the seasons here in El Salvador? Can you tell me a little bit about that? Mm -hmm. We have two seasons. Uh -huh. Which ones are the seasons? We have two, right? Exactly. Uh -huh. Which ones? Uh, summer, winter. Ajá, summer and winter. Aunque para mí también existe spring, que es en cuando salen los mangos y los ocotes. Para mí es like spring, but anyway. But okay. What is your favorite season here in El Salvador? Summer or winter, everybody? Winter. Winter, why? Why winter? I'm sorry, Mr. Jose Carlos, no le escuché bien. I'm sorry. I love the winter, but it's very cold. Ah. The summer is very, very, very hot. Yeah. Mr. Here in San Miguel, always hot. No worry. It, no, it doesn't matter if it is winter. It's always hot here in San Miguel. So for me, no, I don't. <laughs> yes. Okay. So because of the cold. Somebody else, what... Um, Season, do you like a los demás? What season do you like? Winter? My favorite season is uh -huh. summer. Summer, why, mister? Tell me. Why? Por qué? Why it's your favorite? Because, uh, I go to the beach. Ah, <laughs> you go to the beach. That's nice. Okay. And do you like warm or hot? Weather. What do you like? Hot or hot weather? I'm sorry. So it's said, yeah, warm or hot weather. What do you like? Warm sería como fresco, digamos, caliente y fresco. Y el hot, pues obviously caliente, right? What do you prefer, everybody? Warm or hot weather? Warm. Warm. Okay, it's better, right? It's so much better. Now, we have a little bit of practice for the season and weather. Give me one second so I can share with you. Uh, the practice that we have is super easy. You will have to look at the picture. Van a ver la imagen and you're going to tell me what is the answer, okay? 
Okay, so here we have the first one. Janetti, tell me, what do you think it's the weather in this picture? Rainy, sunny, windy, or cloudy? Windy, con mucho viento, cloudy, con muchas nubes. So, ¿qué tú crees, Janetti? Tell me. Hello. Mm. Y windy. Windy. Okay. Excellent, Miss. Thank you. Let's go with Kevin. Kevin, can you read the sentence and tell me what is the answer? It's cold. Uh, but can you read the sentence? Puedes leer la oración. I am wearing a hat. I am wearing a hat and a scarf is cold. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Let's go with Ada Esmeralda. Help me here, mister. Miss, sorry. I am wearing my right coat and wellies is, wellies. Yes, it's perfect. Wellies, it's raining, raining. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent, very good. <laughs> what happened there? Okay, let's go with next one. Alejandra, help me here, please, miss. It's called, I'm wearing a uh, hat and a scarf. Perfect, thank you. Let's go with Eric. I got a kite, mister. I got a kite. I got a kite. Mm -hmm. It's... Wait. Huh? Ajá, ¿qué crees que es? ¿Sunny, windy, snowing or hot? ¿Qué crees? ¿Cómo está el clima ahí? ¿Sunny, asoleado, windy, con mucho viento, sunny. snowing, con... ¿Ah? Sunny. Sunny. Uh -huh. Oh, no, it's windy. Hace mucho viento, por eso está la piscucha. Mi piscucha se dice kite, everybody, ¿ok? Kite. Thank you, mister, okay. for trying, mister Eric. Thank you. Fausto, tell me with the next one, please. It's sunny. I am wearing uh, a sun hat. Excellent, Mr. Fausto. Thank you. Jose Carlos, let's go with the next one. Thank you. How about the season? Mm -hmm. It's a summer. Excellent. Thank you, Mr. Jose Carlos. Even though it's not your favorite season, <laughs> but for the picture, yes. Thank you. Jose Walter, help me here. What what is your favorite song? Season, season. Season. Okay. Uh, it's summer. But no, can you see the picture? Ves la imagen. It says summer. Uh no, it's, uh, it is winter. Excellent, Jose Walter. Thank you. Let's go with Carla. Carla, help me with this one, please. Miss Carla. Oh, no, you're oyente. Okay, let's go with, please, Monica. Tell me, Miss Monica. My favorite season is winter. Uh, like in the picture, but in the picture it's winter? <laughs> Pero en la imagen es, es, it's winter? ¿Qué tú crees? It's a spring. Ah, thank you, Miss Carla. It's a spring. Primavera, a spring, okay? Very good, very good. Let's go with the last one. Help me, please, Miss Rebecca. It's autumn. Uh, okay, autumn. Excellent. Esa es otra manera de decir fall. O, I mean, este sería ah, otoño. It's autumn. Excellent, Miss Rebecca. Wow, everybody. You did awesome. Thank you for practicing with me. We practiced the clothes, we practiced the season and the wear. That was super good, okay? 
Now let's go ahead and continue with the next topic. Page 20. I'm sorry. Now, as I told you at the beginning, we are going to practice a little bit about this topic. It's not in the platform, no está en la plataforma, okay? Solo es una pequeña práctica porque no aparece y siento que es necesario, okay? Porque algunos no lo conocemos tal vez y so, vamos a practicarlo. Simple present. The simple present is very useful. El simple present es uno de los temas, aparte del verbo to be, muy importante y útil de aprender. Simple present, there are different ways to use it. Hay muchas maneras de utilizarlo. And here we have the first uh, way to use it. Can you help me to read, please, Miss Jenny, the definition for the simple present? Me ayudas a leer, Jenny, Catalina? Please, please, Miss. Why in the present simple uh -huh. to talk to talk about things, things. we do mm -hmm. we do all of time exactly we do all the time okay now how how do we with this every time every day sorry we do activities right todos los días nosotros realizamos ciertas actividades pero hay ciertos hábitos en routines si tenemos ciertos Habits and routines, hábitos y rutinas, y ahí es donde utilizamos el simple present, okay? And here I have some examples, okay? Oh, wait, okay, help me to read the sentences, please, uh, Janeri. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sería, I get the service bus of Seven. Seven. Ajá. Every okay. eh, aunque sea ahora se dice así, ¿verdad? Yes, Seven. Miss. Seven. Hay diferentes formas. Okay. Hay diferentes formas, pero ya. Yeah. Ok. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y And... la otra sería uh -huh. Ali Bruce. En Ali Bruce, he the before he goes to bed. Exactly, thank you. Ali brushes his teeth before he goes to bed. Aquí dice, yo agarro el bus, dice, a las 7 de la mañana. Todas las mañanas, dice acá. Y de ahí dice, Ali brushes his teeth before he goes to bed. Ali se cepilla los dientes antes de ir a la cama. Porque, como pueden ver, son habits, ok? And then, let's see, next one. We are also going to use uh, the simple present to say things that are true. También vamos a utilizarlo para decir cosas que son verdaderas. Give me one second. The game is playing. Un segundo, es que el juego todavía está ahí y va a estar con esta uña. Give me one second. And so, for example, here we have some, some sentences. Help me to read, please, Mr. Fausto. The sentences only. Es para decir cosas verdaderas. Y aquí están una y van a ver ahí el verbo to be también que se incluye en el simple present. Fausto, help me, please, to read the sentences. Uh, the sky blue. Mm -hmm. The air goes around the sun. Mm -hmm. I am a student. S E V. S E V. Is is one the Asian side of Istanbul. Mm -hmm. Tigers are big cats. Excellent. Thank you, Mr. Very good. Cosas que son verdaderas como the sky is blue. Ahí viene el verbo to be y es considerado simple present. The earth goes around the sun. And I am a student. Y así, ¿verdad? Now, when uh, you are saying a sentence. Oh, give me one second. We are going to do some sentences first. For the simple present, okay, cuando estamos hablando del simple present, remember, we're talking about routines, I'm sorry, routines and habits, okay? And then, first, when we have first and second person, cuando tenemos el I, you, we, and they, el verbo va a quedar igual. Por ejemplo, una rutina. Can you tell me one routine that you have? Una rutina que ustedes tengan en Spanish. It can be if you don't know in English. For example, tomar una ducha. Do you know how to say tomar una ducha? Anybody? I take, take a shower. 
Exactly. I take a shower, right? Esa puede ser una rutina, un hábito, ¿verdad? No. Or maybe it can be we hmm, conducimos. ¿Cómo sería conducir? Huh? Do you know how to say that? Drive. Drive, exactly. We drive a car. Drive. Nosotros... Exactly, Mr. Very good. Or maybe, hmm, otra, un hábito. Do you have another habit? No sé si tienen un habit que quieran compartir. We drink water every day. Ah, I drink water every day. Miren, ese es un hábito, tomar agua todos los días. Okay. Y como pueden ver, este tipo de oraciones, pues no cambian nada. Okay. And there are many more habits and routines. Hay muchísimas más. But right now, I'm going to show you third person. Les voy a mostrar la tercera persona, porque aquella era primera y segunda. Esta es tercera. Y cambian un poco la, los verbos. ¿Y cómo cambian? Here we have the rules. Ok, aquí tenemos la primera regla. Tenemos algo más, pero vamos a ver. La, eh, la primera es que we add S. La primera es que le agregamos S. Can you help me to read the examples, please, Esmeralda? All of them. Todos ellos, please. Ay. Ajá. Que no sé qué le toqué, que lo hice pequeñito. Pero... Oh, lo puedes hacer como una imagen, Miss. Okay. Como que si no. estás una, viendo una imagen en Facebook, Instagram, whatever, y lo haces casi, lo acercas y ahí ya te parece. ¿O no? Ay, oh, no me da. Pero oh. era leer, ¿verdad? Room. Yes. Ajá. <ríe> Apenas veo, pero room, rooms. Ajá. Uh -huh. Uh, real. Okay. Real. Read. S. Read. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Small. Smallest. Smile. Smile. Smallest. Smile. <laughs> Smile. Uh huh. Why? Uh huh. Why? Right. Right. Excellent. Thank you, Miss. Very good. Uh, so this is the first one. Esta sería la primera que a la mayoría de los verbos solo vamos a agregar s. Okay. Cuando pase a tercera persona, estamos hablando de, de mamá, de papá, de un hermano, hijo, amigos, ok, amigas, ok. Second rule. The second rule is that if we have, si tenemos una vocal y una Y, solo le vamos a agregar S. But, pero si tenemos una consonante y una Y, vamos a cambiar esa Y por una IES. Y aquí tenemos los dos ejemplos. Help me to read the first ones, please, Eric. Me ayudas con los primeros, Eric. Please. Play. Play. No sé cómo se dice. Place. Solo le agregas la S. Place. Place. Ajá. Uh -huh. yeah. Hi. Pace. 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 Ajá. Uh -huh. Ajá. Uh -huh. Thank you. Next one, Kevin, can you help me to read the next rule that says study? Study and study mm -hmm. and cry and cry. Excellent. Y miren ahí, para, recuerden, si va una vocal antes de una Y, solo le agregamos S. Pero no, si va una consonante y una Y, vamos a eliminar esa Y y agregamos IES. Ya vamos a hacer un poquito de práctica, don't worry. Next rule, and the last rule, la siguiente regla es que if we have, si tenemos algunos verbos que terminen en O, S, 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 H, C, H, X, and Z, we add y S. Si terminan en alguna de estas consonantes y esta vocal O, vamos a agregar E, S. Y here we have some examples, aquí tenemos más ejemplos. Can you read the first row, please, Mónica? ¿Podrías leer la primera columna, please, Mónica? Hello. Okay, Rebecca, can you help me, please? Go. Mm -hmm. Goes. Uh huh. Is. Mm -hmm. Is. Mm -hmm. Wash. Washes. Excellent. Thank you, Miss. And let's go with the last row. Jose Carlos, help me, please, Mister. Watch. Watch. Relax. Relax. Speaks. Speaks. Exactly. Miren, solo es agregando ES cuando terminan en estas consonantes y vocal. Oh, ok. Now, 
here I have a little bit of practice. Aquí tengo un poquito de práctica. What are you going to do? You're going to add, depending on the verb, the S, I, E, S, or E, S, ¿ok? Depende del verbo y de acuerdo a las reglas que les acabo de dar, ustedes van a agregar ya sea la S, la E, S, o la I, E, S. Eh, what I want you to do is that I want you to choose five. Quiero que elijan cinco de toda esta lista. Y los van a escribir y los van a enviar en el grupo de WhatsApp. Ok, so we can remember them. Por ejemplo, one example will be walk. Walk, it's like regular, right? It's normal. Primera y segunda persona. Pero pasarlo a la tercera persona sería walks. Con S. Ahora walk. quiero... Mm -hmm, perfect. Ahorita... Quiero que escriban cinco de estos verbos, no los primeros, quiero que elijan random, quiero que elijan cualquiera. Y los envíen en WhatsApp, ¿ok? Let's try to do it, vamos a intentarlo. I'm going to give you two minutes so you can try it. Vamos, les voy a dar dos minutos para que lo puedan intentar, ¿ok? Five verbs, super easy, ¿ok? Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Mm hmm. Hmm. Okay. Very good. Run sería runs, así. Okay. What happened to the other ones? You're not sending different verbs. One more minute. Thank you, Miss Candelaria. Thank you. Mm-hmm, very good. That was perfect. Perfecto. Mm -hmm. You can send it here in some in Zoom too. Where? Okay. Okay. After I'm going to check them out, okay? Okay. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay. Um send then, okay? Okay. Thank you, Mr. Okay. Why? Okay, we are going to practice now here in the presentation. Ahora sí vamos aquí en la presentación. Like for example, in the number 1 uh, we have, thank you. Okay, we have enjoy. Enjoy, como termina en y y una vocal, que decíamos que sucedía en ese caso? Solo pasa una sola cosita, súper fácil. Le agregamos ese. Entonces sería enjoy. enjoy. Exactly, enjoy. Miren, vaya, fly termina en una Y, pero tiene una consonante antes que es una L. Entonces aquí sí quiere decir que cambia. Entonces sería, fly sería? Flies. Flies. -E exactly. We add E-I-E-S. Le agregamos I-E-S. Push. Push es otra regla que decía que cuando termina en S-H le agregamos E-S. So, it would be Pushes. Exactly. Very good. Pushes. Then we have next one. Teach. It, was. it would be. 
teachers. Teachers, exactly. Le agregamos ES. Skip. Skip es de los regulares. Nothing else. Um, so it would be. Skip. Skip. Solo se le agrega S. Ok. What about pool? Pools. Exactly. Pools. Sí. Es de la misma regla fácil. Solo le agregamos S. Sí. So it would. Yes. Pumps. Uh, no, pero sí. What, what happened with C? Sería C's, okay? Come. Come, it would be? Comes. Comes. Enter, también es de la que solo le agrega S. Porque no incluye, no incluye SH, CH, O, eh, X, Z, okay? Entonces solo sería? Enters. You run? Run. Exact. Mm -hmm. Get up. Ups. Get up. Ajá. Para en ese caso, el gets, vamos a agregarle la S. El up es una preposición, no se le puede agregar S, ¿ok? Sería gets. Get up. up. Ajá. Fix. It would be. Fixes, okay. Talk. Talks. Exactly, talks. Repeat. Repeats, okay. Solo se le agrega ese igual. Cook. What happened with cook, everybody? Can you help me, please? Cooks. Cooks. What about say? By aquí lleva una Y, sí, pero... Llevo una boca. Ajá. Sería solo seis. No cambia. Where. Utilizar o usar. Words. Uh -huh. Crush. Crush. Crushes. Exactly. Crushes. Porque termina en SH. Entonces se le agrega ES. Jump. Jumps. Exactly. Jumps. Do, termina en O. Hmm. Does. Does, 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 ok. Does. Mm -hmm. Y break, the last one. Break. Breaks, exactly. Y how do you use this, you say? Y cómo vamos a utilizar esto, me. So, first of all, you have to choose a name of a person, an animal, or... It can be a boy or a girl. Primero vas a elegir un nombre o puede ser un sujeto de she, he o el it para cosa. Pero por ejemplo, I can say, um, let's say, Rose walks in the park. Okay, and look. Here we have, y aquí tenemos, miren, primero un nombre de una chica y después walks, que es la tercera persona y le agregamos algo más. Or maybe we can also say... Um, oh my goodness, uh, right now, Jamie, Jamie uh, runs in, solo runs, Jamie runs, and that's perfect, okay? I remember that I have some examples here, I don't know what I'm taking my head off. Okay, daily activities, vamos a ver algunas daily activities, okay? And you're going to help me to read, me van a ayudar a leerlos. So help me with this one, please. Uh, Kevin, first the activity, primero la actividad y después la oración. Please, help me. One, two, three, go, mister. Yes, Kevin? Wake up. Uh -huh. But oh. wake up, up. Wake up, exactly. Thank you. Let's go, Jenny. ¿Cómo sería esta oración? His team. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Bad versus his team. Excellent. Thank you. Esmeralda, help me. 
eat breakfast. Mm -hmm. Bar eats breakfast. Excellent, thank you. Let's go next one, Alejandra. Bar, bar goes, goes, I know no. Yes, yes, it's perfect. Bar goes. Bar goes to school. Excellent, thank you, Miss. Este goes va a ser así, goes. No vamos a pronunciar la E, okay? Goes. Thank you, Eric. Next one, help me, please. Okay. Ball. Escapes. Escapes. Solo hey. eres la S. Ajá. Escapes. Thank you. Fausto. Next one. Have lunch. Bar has lunch. Yes. Miren acá. Cuando es el verbo have, para la, para she, para he, y para it, el verbo va a cambiar. Va a cambiar a has. Es el único. Ok. It's the only verb. Thank you, mister. Let's go, Jose Carlos. Watch TV, but mm -hmm. watch TV. Excellent, thank you. Next one, please, Jose Walter. Let's make it quick so we can finish. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake, wake up. Mm -hmm. Lisa, wake up. Excellent. Ooh. Waits, decilo, wakes. Waits. Up. Up. Excellent, thank you, mister. Rebecca, next one. Uy, I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. This one. Lisa does exercise. Uh -huh. like... exercise. Excellent, thank you, Janeri. Get dressed. Mm -hmm. Lisa gets dressed. Excellent, thank you. Uh, let's see, next one. Um, Monica, I don't know if you can participate, Miss Monica. Because you have trouble before. Go to school. Mm -hmm. Lisa goes to school. to school. Excellent, thank you. And the last one, let's go, Jenny. Miss Jenny? Play books. Uh huh. Lisa reads books. Reads, reads. Read books. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Miss. Okay, so that was a little bit of sentences, okay, but for the simple present. Don't worry, tomorrow we are going to continue. Thank you, everybody, for coming to today's class. Gracias a todos por venir a la clase el día de ahora. Remember to always work in the platform. Recuerden siempre ir avanzando en la plataforma. For this week, it would be only section number four. Para esta semana solo es la sección número 4, pero les recomiendo que si pueden vayan avanzando en la sección número 5 porque la otra semana para el día lunes creo que o martes ya tienen que haber terminado para que les envíen su diploma. Si ustedes terminan la plataforma antes, no hay problema, ¿ok? Aunque no hayan terminado las clases. Yes, mi Rebeca? Eh, mi fíjese que a mí se me dio un problema. Uh -huh. es que ¿Se acuerda que yo le estuve comentando a usted que no me aceptaba una respuesta? Ah, oh, yes, 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 tell me. Luego la escribí así como, como usted me dijo, pero igual no me la aceptó, fíjese. Can you send me a screenshot? ¿Me podrías mandar una captura? Porque en cuando. Era. I'm sorry. En la lección 2 era que fue la que dejé de último porque como vi que mucho me estaba costando con esa con la única esa respuesta de, de la televisión que decía next to the television. Ajá, y se la mandé, ¿verdad, mijo? No. Ajá, sí, se la... sí, me la mandó, y pero igual no me la aceptó la plataforma. Así que es la única en la que salí mal yo. Ay, I'm sorry, mi. Sí, fíjense que este cuando ustedes nos mandan, por ejemplo, no me acuerdo quién me envió una también que no podía ingresar, me parece, no le daba la respuesta. Yo la mando a, a que chequeen la plataforma, así que por eso les digo que me manden fotos, porque a veces es que ustedes la escriben bien, pero la plataforma la quien la creó cuando estaban en la carrera, no sé, ¿verdad? no sé, cualquier situación, entonces la tomó como mal y ustedes la están escribiendo bien, entonces lo que hacemos es reportar para que la corrijan y ustedes pues ya la tengan. Good night, Mr. Fausto. I'll see you tomorrow. Los veo mañana. So, así que Miss Rebeca, envíeme la imagen, please. Para, para decirles, para reportar el problema, para que, porque si no siempre le va a salir más a los que tal vez no han llegado ahí. Ok, mi Rebeca, please. Ok, so everybody have a good night. I'll see you tomorrow. Los veo mañana. Bye bye, everybody. Take care. Have a good night.
Good night. Good night, everybody. Take care. Good See you tomorrow. Good night. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Be safe. <laughs> bye bye. Take care.